Today, all we need is a mat and a good catitude. That's it. If you want to add hand weights, if you want to add like ankle weights or some bands, you are absolutely welcome to. I will not be demoing with any pieces of equipment. Four blocks of work. I give you rest at the end of each round. Super, super short movement. Um, 30 second intervals. And then we're done. Sound good? We down? We down like clowns, Charlie Browns? Good. Okay. So that said, we have not started the playlist. I want you to just take a moment on your mat, standing tall, and just kind of feel your, your space. Just kind of notice what's going on. Maybe you're out of town like me. Maybe you're just in a different room in your apartment or your home. Just shake anything out that feels like it isn't going to serve you. And just kind of move your knees, nod your head, swing the arms. We'll take a deep breath in together. Inhale. And exhale the arms at the sides. Do it twice more. Inhale to reach up. And exhale down one more time. Inhale to reach up. And exhale the arms at the sides. Roll the shoulders back. And for those of you that just got here, I know you're probably just getting set up. Good news is you don't need anything but your body and a mat. That's it. So that said, we're going to get a short warm up underway here in five seconds, hitting our playlist simultaneously in five, four, three, two, one, hit it, come back to your mat. Once you're back at your mat, we're gonna start with some basic hip circle and squat. So you're gonna go out for a hip circle, squat down, and then out for a hip circle the other side, squat down. Don't worry about your speed here, just kind of find that openness to the hips and drop into that squat with some depth. So sinking the hips back and down. Let's go one more, nice and slow. Out to the sides, I forgot to mute everybody. There we go. And then from here, you're going to give me a nice high knee march. High knees, 90s mom style. Eight, seven, six, five. Yes, Elaine. Three, two, and one. Plant your feet. Arms reach up and pull down. Good. Arms sweep up, pull through. One more time. Arms big circle and pull. Good from here, just the pull and sidestep. Palms are up. So this is called supinated grip. My elbows are drawing back behind my ribs. Good. Six more seconds here. This is six, five, super short. Four, three, two, plant the feet wide. Take the right arm up and left arm. Big side bend stretch, reach. You guys, I'm already starting to sweat. It's crazy. It's a little warm here in the desert. Seven, six, five, four. We are fourth into a rotation right here. Right across, left across. Pivot off of your back heel. Drop into your legs a little more. Yes, move your arms with power. A lot of arms today. Give me eight, seven, Six, going into jumping jacks in four, three, two, and one. Join me here. If you're not jumping, one foot at a time. Get those arms nice and big. Awesome. Give me eight, seven. Yes, Ruth, six, five, four, three, two. Right foot forward, jab up, down. Guard your face, up and down. Gorgeous job. Give me eight, seven. We're switching sides in four, three, two. Left side, up and down. Guard your face with your right. Yes. Looking good. Yes, Mary. Give me four, three, two, and one. Step to the back of your mat. Hands on hip and hinge. Rise. Hands on hips and hinge. Rise, nice hamstring stretch. Last one. Instead of rising, walk it out to plank. Hold plank still. Roll the shoulders back. Good, knee to nose. And switch. Two more. Nose and switch. Last one slow. Nose and switch. Double time. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, load the shoulders, three, two, and one, knees down, rise to stand. Team, here's what's up. 
First thing, around the world lunges. Join me with a front lunge first, stand in the front of your mat. Big front lunge, big side lunge, big back lunge, and a curtsy. Front lunge right, side lunge right, reverse lunge right, curtsy right. Keep going, we've got 30 seconds, about 15 to go. Left leg stays planted, stand it up every time. You've got five seconds, four, three, whoop, lost my balance, two, and switch your feet. Left front, left side, left back, left curtsy. Again, front, side, back, whoo, and curtsy, almost there. You've got four, three, wherever you're at, finish that last lunge out, find a sumo stance, feet wide apart, tiny pulse. Whoo, nice and slow, nice and small. Upper body lifted from the side, my back is flat. Good, now if you're looking for a little more, lift the heels and continue to pulse the legs. Eight seconds left, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that's set one. Legs, legs, legs. Left leg will go first next time. Front lunge, lateral lunge, reverse lunge, curtsy lunge, okay? If you need a sip of water, grab it. We got about 15 seconds. Okay, here we go. Set yourself up so you have room to travel behind you, room to travel in front of you. Three, two, and one, left leg, front lunge. Maybe this time you don't land the foot. So advanced, bring it in. Step it forward, bring it in, balance, out, balance, back, balance, cross, balance. Or you can land your foot, right? So I come out, I step it in, I cross it. Make sure that I'm taking a large enough step so that my right knee doesn't feel any sort of weird pressure. Switch your sides, please. Right leg front lunge. Lateral lunge, maybe bring it in for the balance. Back lunge, didn't balance on that one, tried. But that's why they call it working out. It's a try every time. Out to the side. And I want you to try your best. Good, you got 15 seconds here. Out to the side, to the back, and across the hip. Three, two, wherever you're at. Turn the toes out, sink into that sumo pulse. Now this time, let's take the hands behind the head. Boo, yeah. Little bend, maybe the heels rise. Get it. 15 seconds, can you get lower, tiny little pulses, even lower, little pulses. Yes, Maddie, your form is perfect. Looking good, Nestor. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You rest. Your active recovery, your one minute challenge, is a slow, narrow squat. So my feet are gonna be about shoulder width to hip distance apart. You're gonna lower down really slow and rise up super slow. Lower down slow, 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 and rise up slow, slow with your feet about hip width to shoulder width apart. That's all you gotta know for this. Let's start with the right. Three, two, and one. Front lunge, balance, lateral lunge, Balance, reverse lunge, cross it, repeat it. Out to the side, push yourself away from the floor. Use that diaphragmatic breath. Press through the inner heel of your stable foot. Looking good, feeling good, smelling okay, guys. You've got eight seconds. All the way around the world, that half hemisphere, two, and switch your sides. Left lunge out to the side, reverse, cross. So if you are like me and you're out of town and you don't have a ton of room, you can always turn yourself a little to the side. Good, right? It's not, doesn't have to be perfect, but just keep moving. Yeah, it's just life. This is five, four, 
three, two, find your sumo, drop in, hands behind the ears, lift your heels, 30 second pulse. Woo, ribs in. So from the side, I have a slight tuck through my pelvis. I'm moving my hips, I would say, maybe three to five inches total, super small. Get lower, lift the heels higher for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, feet together, slow, 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 and rise, 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 nice and slow, 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 and lift, lift, nice, Keiko, slow, 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 and rise, rise, rise. If you're moving with the beat, it's three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one. Yes, enjoy this slow action because guess what? This is not the end. We're moving into upper body next. It's pretty cardiovascularly challenging. Got 20 more seconds, team. Breathing in, smiling, having fun. Super close. Ooh. Right away, jack and jab is where we're going in 30 seconds. Let's do one more slow squat. Three, two, and done. Okay, so the first activity you're doing in the second block is a jack, jab, jack, jab. If you're not jumping today, half jack, pivot jab, half jack, pivot jab, half jack, pivot jab. Okay, so that's exercise one. Exercise two, low, medium, high, medium fly. If you want to lean forward a little more, that's going to be harder work. Totally your call. Final exercise in this second effort is going to be a push-up to four wide grip rows. One, two, three, four, push up and press yourself away. If you're not doing push ups today, skip them. All right, all gravy. Are we ready? Say yes, shake it off. Jack, jab in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Jack, jack, punch it. Guard your face with the opposing hand. Guard. Again, if you need that modification, half jack, jab, half jack, pivot jab, half jab, half, right? We can make it workable. If we're not jumping, as long as you're moving, you're good. Seven seconds. Next up, a hinge fly or a standing fly. I'm gonna do it the easier version first. Feet wide, low, medium, high, medium, low, medium, high, medium. If you wanna make it harder, hinge at the waist more. Adding a little more gravity. <sighs> open out, open out right directly in the chest line, and then overhead. Back behind you, my palms face inward. So I open out, I reach up, I open out, I reach back into plank position. One push up, four rows. One, two, three, four. Another push up. Mandy, could I do this at my knees? Maybe I do my push up at my knees. I pop up into plank. I do my four wide grip rows. So from the floor, I look like this push up, pull, 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 pull. This is three, two, and rest. Okay, so now you know what block number two looks like. Add, subtract what you need, jack, jab into low, medium, high fly, and finishing with a push up, wide grip, alternated pull. Okay, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. We're starting from the top, jack, jab. Three, two, and one, timer starts. Let's go. And your jab. Think about less push and more retraction. Like you're trying your best to pull your arm back and guard yourself. Wait. Yeah. Get it. You got nine seconds. Use your hips, right? You're leading with that hip like you're trying to 
close a car door with that hip. Hinge at the waist, knees soft. Low, medium, high, medium, low. Fly, fly, fly. Looking pretty fly for a white guy. Open up the chest. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Almost there. Can you lean, uh, hinge forward a little more? Get it. Five, four, three, two. Find yourself in that plank position. Push up to first, then wide pull, two, three, and four. Mandy, how could I make this harder? How you can make this harder is having your feet closer together in the plank. You can also add a second push up. So maybe do one, two push up, four wide grip pulls. The world is your oyster. Work to your best ability because you're done in three, two, and one. All right, so far so good. Now, we do this one more time except for we have our active recovery. The active recovery in this one is gonna be a down dog with a leg lift, three point plank. Halfway through, we switch to the other leg. So we're in that push up position continuously from the push up wide grips. All right, timer starts in three, two, one. Here we go jack, jab. Yeah, lead. Yes. So this is block two. We have four blocks of work, meaning you'll be halfway through the block work at the end of the burner that I just showed you, down dog split, 30-30 split. I will let you know when it's time. Next up, hinged fly. Bring yourself into that wide stance, open arms over towards the shoulders, down towards the chest, and down towards the hips. Listen, if you forget one, just do it. Just do anything you can think of. Wide to the back wall, wide again, overhead reach. Next up, we're on the floor. If push-ups are not working, skip them. Just do the pulls, or if you wanna add in three push-ups, four pulls. Three, two, and one. Join me on your mat. Good, one push-up, pull, 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 pull. Do it again. One push-up. Again, push-ups don't have to be super deep, but the more musculature you get involved in the push-up, the better off you'll be. Almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog, right leg lifts. Shift to plank. Shift up. Shift to plank. Shift up. Shift to plank. Shift up. If this is moving too quickly for you, hold a three-legged plank. Maybe send the hips up. Maybe not. You've got 12 more seconds with the right foot lifting up and back, returning to three-point three plank. Five, four, three, two, second side. Lift and return. Every time you rise, think about inhaling. And as you come into plank, exhale. Squeeze your butt cheeks together. Nice, Maddie. Awesome, Nestor. Yes, Mary and Audrey. Oh. Yes, that looks good, Rachel. Nice, Amanda. Good shoulders, Lauren. You're four, three, two. Nice, Elaine, and that is time. Okay, so block number two complete. We have another block to learn, and here's what's happening. A lot of cardio, total body, some coordination, some balance. Your first thing you're doing is a triple skate, one, two, and three, into a hinge and touch. Triple skate, one, two, and three. Hand touches that pinky toe. That's effort one. Effort number two, you're gonna move into a, whoo, trying to catch my, my breath here. You're gonna move into, what does that say? Mm, oh. You come back into sumo, side bends. I was like, hold on, what's that say? So we're back in that sumo. Now we're adding in the side bend. Last challenge in this effort, you're gonna give me a fan kick, triple and switch, triple. If the knee or if the hip feels weird there, give me a little hip circle, 
from the hip, okay? You'll lean the upper body back a little bit. Are we ready? Say yes. Three, two, and one. Triple skate. One, two, three. Reach and touch the pinky toe. One, two, three. Reach and touch the pinky toe. One, two, three. Reach and touch that pinky toe. Keep going with it. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. Keep doing the work. You're almost there. We have our sumo hold. Now this time there's no pulse. You're just holding down in sumo. Three, two, find that sumo stance. Hands behind the ears. Lean and rise. Lean. Maybe you try to get the elbow to touch the knee. No twisting. Moving side to side. You've got eight seconds. Big side stretch here. Woo, five, four, three, two, triple step, fan kick, triple step, fan kick, triple. I'm flexing my foot, but could I point my toe? Sure. You're alternating those legs. One, two, open. One, two, three, open. Keep that upper body lifted. Woo, five, four, three. Give me one more, two, and that's time. Triple skate can always be modified with a big step. Step side, step side, step side, hinge and touch. So if you need that modification from the jump, that's gonna be it. All right. Ooh, I need a sip of water. Maybe I'll just have some coffee instead. All right, starting from the top, triple skate, pinky toe reach, three, two, and one. One, two, three, touch the pinky, one. Woo! Inner thighs are working, outer thighs are working, single leg balance is working, that heart rate's up. Woo! You're breathing. So if you're like me and you're starting to get a little breathless, slow it down. Catch the breath. You're done in four, three, two, one. Sumo hold, side bends. I want you to go as slow as you can, slow as possible. So from the side, just so you can see what's going on, I'm not rotating. I'm traveling directly to the sides of my frame. You're almost there, you've got eight. Big, big stretch. Four, three, two, rise to stand. Triple step, fan kick, triple step, fan kick. I, my hands are a little flailing. You can put your hands anywhere. So if you want your hands towards your hips, you could guard your face. There's some options here. We're working on that flexibility of the back of the leg. Imagine in front of you, there's a hurdle and you're trying to lift your heel over the hurdle. Three, two, and that's the end of the second. Round, who knew how fast this would go by, right? <sighs> Wait, I forgot something, didn't I? It is what it is. Rest here. We're gonna go into that third round. So five, four, three, two, one, go. Triple skate, one, two, three, pinky toe. One, two, three. I didn't forget something. I, I got uh, I got a little nervous that I did. <sighs> Super close, guys. Ten seconds. <sighs> you got your sumo side bend in four, three, two, one. Bring it into that. Open up the chest. Lean. Side. Lean. Side. Optional here, lift off the toes. Try to find balance in the heels. Drop into the side waist. Feel that side bend stretch and contraction as you move. This looks good. Nice, Rachel. Good, Mary. Mary's got a really nice open chest here. Last challenge before we move into our burner. We go into that triple step and big fan kick. Yeah. 
You can make it more mobility based or you can pick it up. Yeah, my watch is like, did you want to end your workout? Oh, no, three, two, one. Okay, your burner, which I did not go over. Here it is. You're down on the floor. We're going to hold a V-sit. Breathe. Abs in tight, point the toes. Roll the shoulder heads back. This is it, you don't have to do anything else. Now, if you wanna add into this, start to lower down halfway, reach the arms up, and then rise back up. In yoga, this is also known as Navasana or boat pose. So perhaps you're just holding here in high boat, down to Ardha Navasana, half boat. Rise up and lower down. Team, you've got 20 seconds. I want you to, like an accordion, imagine a string between your sternum and your knees. Squeeze your legs together. Yes, Amanda. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can go ahead and stay on your mat because your last action, it's all on the floor. So moving into the mat work, um, first thing you've got going on, I'm just gonna move my mat because I know it's really difficult to see me in this room. Your first effort is going to be a high boat with a cross punch for four and then a toe touch for two. High boat cross four into two. All right, that's effort one. Effort number two, you're gonna find yourself in a wide straddle, your arms out to your sides, reach for your toe, rise, Pilates saw. Final effort, you're gonna move onto your back, head, neck and shoulders lift, double leg stretch, reach and pull, reach and pull. A lot of core work here, but we're made for it. Three, two and one, boat pose, cross two, three, four, touch the toes, touch the toes, again. One, two, three, four cross punches. Touch the toes. Touch again. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Touch the toes. Touch the toes. And do it once again. One, two, three, four. Touch the toes. Touch the toes. Sit up, feet wide, arms out wide. Twist. Reach for that pinky toe. Rise. Twist. Reach for the other pinky toe. You're twisting first, you're rounding second. So a little further back, reach, rise, reach. Look behind you towards the palm facing the sky. Flex the toes. If you want a harder challenge, bring the feet in a little bit tighter so you get a deeper flexion of the spine. Two and one. Last effort, double leg stretch. Head in forward, arms reach up, pull in. Arms reach up, pull in, squeeze the legs together. There's no space, right? We've had the legs together, then separated and then together again. Can you lift the torso more? You're done in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two in time. That's the end of your first round of the final block. Now, the only caveat is we're finishing AKA the burner will be standing. So I'll go over it at the end of the second round, which is coming in about 12 seconds. So starting from the very top, right? I have my knees bent or maybe my legs are straight. It's a cross two, three and four, touch the toes, touch them again. Now with my legs straight, that's harder. With my knees bent, it's a little easier. Come with me or do what you feel is best for you. Three, two and one, cross two, three, four, touch, touch, cross two, three, four, touch, touch. Mandy, it's too much on my lower back. Set my feet down, cross one, two, three, and four. Lift your legs point, return, lift your legs point, and return. So there's always an option. The only option you don't have is to wait. This is two, one, good. Feet a little wider apart, arms out, twist, reach, rise. So you're getting a torso twist. You're getting a, a nice spinal flexion here. See if you can twist through your navel, reach across the room, 
Arms out super wide to post exhaust the shoulders. Good, 10 more seconds. <sighs> Finishing in four, three, double leg stretch in two and one. Come on down to your backside. Knees to chest, head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Reach and pull. Mandy, my neck doesn't feel supported. What can I do about that? Hold my head, pull the legs in, pull the legs out. Pull the legs in and out. Try to get the back of the body curled up as deeply as you can. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze those legs together, no space. Three, two, and one. So while you're resting, you're in rest right now, you have an active recovery. And that active recovery is gonna be quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Then from here, I step my feet together, slip, 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 slip. I'll go over it again. One, two, drop. One, two, drop. Feet together. Side bend, side bend, side bend, side bend. We'll do it together. Don't worry about a thing. All right, coming on down to the floor. Final time. Cross punch, two, three, and four. Toe tap, one and two. Cross punch, one, two, three, four. Tap lift, one and two. Now, we're almost done with learning all 12, right? This is it. We've got our burner that's coming after these three. You'll get your minute rest and we'll go all the way to the top. We do not repeat through the burners. This is three, two, one. Good, sit yourself up, legs nice and wide, arms out. Twist, reach for that pinky toe, rise. Twist, reach and rise. Now don't actually break your back like the track is saying. Twist and reach. Speaking of tracks, if you guys have any requests, pop them into the chat or email them to me. We'll get them into next week's final workout Wednesday of 2020. This is three, two, come on down to your backside, double leg stretch. You can hold the head if you need to. Reach and pull. Reach. Every time you reach, I want you to scoop your belly deeper into the floor. Pull. Now remember, we have cardio to wrap up the block. We're gonna do our quick, quick, slow drop. Two of those, four slips. I'll come with you, I'll do the whole thing in five, four, three, two, rise to stand. Good, one, two, drop, one, two, drop. Step the feet together, one, two, three, four. If you're not jumping, one, two, touch the floor. One, two, touch the floor. Step it together. Slip, 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 and slip. Otherwise, drop, drop, step it in or jump it in. Slip, 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 and slip. You're halfway there. One, two, three, step it together. Drop, 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 drop. Yes, Rachel. 20 seconds, maybe you don't touch the floor, all good, right? Lean, 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 pick a foot, one, two, drop, one, two, drop, step it in, finish it for four, three, two, done. Cheers. Okay, we're gonna go over it all again, except for the burners. Around the world lunges, second side, sumo pulse, calf raise lift. Those are your first three. Your second three are upper body, jack jab. After the jack jab, hinge flies. After that push up, wide grip pull. So you know the first six, I would not leave you behind. I will make sure you know where we're at. I'm a timekeeper. You just gotta trust me. Hands to the screens. Can we do it together? Yes, we can. All right, choose a leg. I'm gonna go with my left. Four, three, two, six minutes. Front lunge, lateral lunge, back lunge, curtsy, front, lateral, back, curtsy, front, lateral, back. Notice how I'm not landing my foot. That is a progression. 
If you need to land your foot, you land your foot, boo. Good. There in eight, seven. You won't do another lunge today. I just put all the lunges right at the top. Two and one. Opposite side, front lunge. Side, reverse, curtsy. If one of those lunges doesn't serve you, skip it, right? You do what feels good, doable and pain-free, and I am happy as a clam. Good. Next up, we've got that sumo pulse. Heel pop optional, hands in prisoner stance. Three, two, bring it down. Whew. Hold, pulse it. Optional, heels up. Get lower. 20 more seconds. If anybody else's legs are shaking, I want you to give me a little thumbs up. I know, me too. Lower. Listen, you got 11 seconds. 11 seconds. Elbows up. What's next? Upper body. Okay, five, four, three. Jack, jab. Here we go. Jack. Put the focus on the arms. Yes, the legs are working, but what are the arms up to, right? Abduction into a sagittal plane jack, jab. Seven, six, five, four, three, two in time. Feet wide, hinge back, open, front, open from the side. Back, open, overhead. Right in the line with the chest behind you. Next up, you have one push up, wide grip, four, three, two, and one. Again, push up, you can do one, two, or three. It's totally up to you. You're there in five, four, three, two. Come on down to the floor. One push up, row one, two, three, Four, do that push up again. <sighs> Hands in alignment with the chest. <sighs> Almost done. <sighs> so just so you know where we're headed next, we have our triple skate balance. That's coming in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rise to stand. Skate one, two, three, hold that balance. Pinky toe reach. Yes, Ruth. Whew. Whew. Oh my gosh. I am gassed out right now. 12 seconds. After this, prisoner sumo with the side bend. Two and one. We hold that prisoner and I lean, rise. Drop into those legs. Notice how this knee stays bent. What's after this? I've got my fan kick. Triple step, open up, triple step, open up. And then it's on the floor for the rest of it. Dig into those heels, team. You got 12 seconds from the side. Dropping into those hips. Toes are turned out. No twisting. Four, three, two, rise. Triple step, fan. Remember, modification, open up the hip, bent knee. Super good for the glute need, super good for coordination. Nice little hamstring opener if the leg is straight. Get over that hurdle. So much that can apply to life, right? Get over the hurdle. Okay, on the floor in five, four, V-sit in two and one. Come on down to the floor. Cross punches, one, Two, three, four. Toe tap one and two. Option, keep the legs up. One, two, three, four. Toe tap, toe tap. Third option, legs stay straight. One, two, three, four. Accordion lift, do it again. Oh my gosh, oh, my legs are burning. Four, three, two, one, do it again. And again, separate the legs, feet wide apart. Deep flex, arms out, twist, reach, rise, twist, reach, rise. Team, you literally have one exercise left, double leg stretch, 
and you're done with today's workout. We'll stretch as a team here in about 45 seconds from now. You're there in five, four, three, two, down on your back. Last time, knees into the chest, point the toes. Reach the arms, squeeze the legs together, pull. Reach and squeeze, pull. Open up and reach in. Open and reach, squeeze the legs together. No space here. Lift the torso higher, you're done in 15. Woo, I'm sweaty Betty right now. Tuck the chin, super close. You're there in six, five, four, three, two, and you, my friend, are done. Okay, come to the screen. Did you have fun? Did you work for it? We're gonna stretch, I've got you three minutes. If you need to leave, I totally understand. Let me know you're okay by letting me know in the chat, okay? All right, so that said, let's go ahead and stay standing. Bring ourselves to our space. Oh, before we do that, come on over to your playlist. Ooh, we're gonna hit that to hit to that final track. So it should say never tear us apart by in excess. So bring your feet nice and wide apart. Drop into the right leg. Stay right here. If this feels good, turn the toes out and flex the foot. Awesome. Rise up and switch. Take it over to the other side. So I'm dropping into the hip of the left. I'm opening the inner thigh of the right. Good, rise up. Catch the right foot in the hand, squeeze the legs together, pull the belly button in, hinge, and push that arm and leg away from you. Good, relax your neck. And from here, cross the ankle over the thighs to do that figure four squat. Crawl that ankle up a little higher, feel that gluteal stretch a little deeper. Good, roll the ankle joint of the right. Ooh, good, right heel to the floor. Shift the weight back, catch the toes. Breathe in and out, nice. Let's switch sides, okay. Left foot into the hand, tuck the seat, squeeze the legs together, hinge at the waist and kick that leg away from you. Hug those inner thighs, rise up. Take that leg across the hip, drop into the seat, see if you can pull that ankle a little higher. Lift your chest. Roll the ankle joint around and back. Breathe. Rise up. Kickstand that heel of the left. Shift the weight back, catch the left toes. We gotta get to the upper body and then I promise you we're done. Rise up, shake it all off. Clasp the hands behind the back, open up the chest. Drop the chin towards the chest here. Walk the ear over to the left. Through the center, to the right, through the center. Give yourselves a hug. Rock side to side. Open up the arms. Other arm on top. Rock side to side. Enjoy the saxophone. And last bit, right hand to the side. Left arm opens up the left side body. Bring out the wrist of the left if that feels good. Return through center and switch your sides. Open up the side body of the right, bring out the right wrist. Look at that. And that's it, that's all she wrote. It's exactly 145, literally. So awesome, awesome work, everybody. Let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns. Otherwise, next week, last one of 2020, Wednesday and Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Au revoir, have a lovely rest of your hump day. Questions, comments, pop into the chat or take yourself off mute and we can have a little, a little pow wow. Good work.